the catch this bag, because that was that was deep. I know you already had added on, but if you don't have my so keep in there, let's get this up on YouTube. Help people with some deal with some distress that they be having. I better turn off the air condition so they can hear. Yeah, so let's let's think about this for a second. You know, there's a lot of doom day theories, but they have you looking at it externally. They have you looking at it from an exoteric side of things and not an esoteric internal thing in which that takes place because what is internal will reflect outward. Now, we know that the European is controlling certain aspects of nature. For example, you know, he's trying to make the prophecies of the Book of Revelations come true. So, you know, you have Fukushima, you know, with the destruction in which they can say would destroy one third of the fish, you know, or, you know, animals in the water supply or in the oceans, in the rivers, in the lakes, in the streams. You know, this is what they have going on. Then they also have, you know, of course, they control um, trying to control the seed market. All right. G they have GMO in the food. They lace the skies with chemtrails, trying to um, block out uh, what they refer to as the ozone. You know, the lights that you know the the cosmic energy, the sun rays that's coming in. Um, you know, into the ozone because the ozone has been complete, completely de um, uh, depleted. Um, well, not completely, but I would say that more than fifty percent of it is depleted. You know. Um, in the various areas. So we're looking at, you know, cosmic energy coming in directly, the sun rays coming in directly, you know, we're getting energy, receiving energy from Sirius, from the Pallades, you know, from Maturius, you know, all the star constellations that's mentioned in the book of Job, um, the third and the ninth chapter. All right, if I'm not mistaken here. So we're looking at them trying to make manifest an external, an external control system in which they, they themselves um, have complete or nearly complete control over. All right. This is obvious based on the weaponization in which that they have produced and that we have been seeing over the last 20 years. You know. So if it wasn't for the external mechanisms, would nature be going away as it is? Because now nature has to battle against something that's artificial, that's unnatural. When you go to the Black Snow Dictionary and you look up artificial, it says laws or rules created by a corporation, i.e. a government. And the word government is broken down into two words. Governor is the word control, and then mint is short for mental, which means mind. So the word government itself means mind control. This is why um, since bringing the Nazis over through Operation Paperclip in the 1940s and 50s, you know, late 40s and 50s after the World War II, you know, you had Von Braun and you had many different ones who was part of the OSS, you know, in which that they formed NASA and they formed the CIA, all right, in which that perpetrates all these types of mental manipulations that they have nowadays, all right? This is where this is coming from. It's coming from the, our own government, all right? 9-11 was part of that whole thing with them instilling fear within the people so they can produce a police state, all right, so or have a template, external. right, to have a template for it. So if it wasn't, you know, the devil manipulating the external, um, natural, you know, functions of life, you know, would we be in a predicament in which that we are now? Would we be looking at the book of Revelations as, as, you know, we've been taught to look at it, you know, oh, Fire and brimstone is coming. Uh, the lakes turned to, you know, the rivers and waters turned to blood. You know, uh, one third of the fish is destroyed. 
You know, all these are things in which that could have been avoided. You know what I'm saying? So, since they weren't avoided, you might as well manipulate it. Make something come out of it in which that can produce more laws. You know, put something else in place that can be a part of a control system because people are waking up. So, people are waking up and now they have to buckle down. So, now they got in three years the Real ID Act. You know, you don't have to have a real ID. And what's the requirements? The requirements are that you're going to have how many pieces of documents in order to? You're going to have seven pieces of documents, you know what I'm saying, in order to get the real ID, and you're going to have to use it. Right. It's going to, everything going to have to be verified. So this is the, this is the colony shit. All right, go and watch the TV show um, Colony. Shit, that's the one I'm waiting for to come back on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else waiting for all this other shit. You know, I'm waiting for the um, colony to come back on because that was some, that's real. You know what I'm saying? This is what they're trying to lock it down to is what is the colony and have it broken down into districts. That's 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 part of FEMA. But what's the FEMA has got? ten FEMA has ten um um districts that they broke that they break down to. Go and get the book um Behold a Pale Horse. William Bill Cooper told us this shit back in the 90s. This is not nothing new. You know what I'm saying? So the solution is, number one, you are non-U.S. national. So you got to be able to get your documentations based on being a non-U.S. national. All right? You need to have your nationality. You need to have um, to become head of your estate through your executor or executress letter. You need to authenticate the birth certificate and get the um, title more onto the birth certificate, all right? So that they already know that you are outside of their jurisdiction, all right? And we know that this works. Why? Because we've been doing this for damn over almost 20 years, getting this information out. My wife and I done beat dozens and dozens and dozens of court cases, all right? Utilizing, yeah, utilizing information of real law, the your law, not compared to just legalese, colorable law. You know what I'm saying? So, go ahead. Man. And I was also going to say solution two, or solutions are food, clothing, and shelter. Right. <laughs> those are the basics of life. So if we have those in... Right. Well, once you perfect your person and, and come back in proper persona sojourners, which is improper person, stand in truth. Once you come back to that realization, you know, then you can definitely do food, clothing, and shelter. But property can't own property. So if you're still listed as property, Negro, Black, and Colored, African American, in their in their regard of keeping you in under their thumb and in their capacity of obedience, then you can't do anything, you know, except for what they say that you can do. You know, and this is the thing in which that is going on. This is what happened with Black Wall Street back in the 20s. All right. They was called it Black Wall Street, you know. But when you talk about being free, free isn't based on the way that we have um, been taught that it is. We know that the KKK was set up, you know, with the, with the um, little silent film called Birth of a Nation, you know, got redone, you know, just last year with Birth of a Nation under Nat Turner, all right? Brother put that out from um, to the great debaters. Um, that brother was in that movie, all right? So we're looking at manipulation, and the CIA is the greatest manipulators as far as um, putting together these types of things. You have the think tank, various think tanks that the European have set up in which that deals with mental and psychic um, evaluation that this was psychic attacks. All these things are set up. Remote viewing, you know, um, all type of psyops, black psyop programs. This is what this is what is going on, and we're falling for it as being the elite on the planet. And what I mean by the elite, I'm talking about those who are supposed to be in tune with nature are now being denationalized and denaturalized. You know. Um, because basically, when you look at nationality, the word naturalized is embedded inside the definition. 
Now, you don't get naturalized under them because you're already a natural person to begin with. You just have to come back into your status as being a natural person. You go to Black's Law Dictionary 7th edition and you look up natural person, the, defini- the, the, the first word of that definition is indigenous. So now you get those two that correlates to common sense. Go and read the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People. Now in there, it states that you have the right in order to do, you know, what you need to. It's food, clothing, and shelter, what you need to do for yourself, you know. And of course, first thing you have to do is declaring your nationality is to tie yourself back to land. All right? And that's not difficult to do. Right. Wait, I don't know if I could do that. And you don't want to be landless or stateless. That's how we are right now as Negro, Black, and Colored. Okay? Um, Our conference is coming up March 23rd, 24th, and 25th, 2018. All right? You want to give us a call, 910-364-9099, and we're going to have an excellent time. We get into solutions. All right? We teach you how to be a healer of yourself and of your family. We get into um, Qigong, Tai Chi, Reiki, Pranic Healing, Irisdology, Astrology, Numerology. Uh, We get into um, Acupressure, Reflexology. We get into all these things. Um, EFT, which is Emotional Freedom um, Tapping. We get into all these various aspects of healing. All right, Herbology or Herbalism, as we refer to it as also. so we, we teach you how to identify plants of healing in nature, all right? That way you don't have to depend upon, you know, a grocery store or a um, herbal, um, natural herbal store, organic, you know, herbal store, whatever. Wild craft is wild crafted, right, in nature itself, mm-hmm. all right? And so the only thing you have to do is learn how to identify them, all right? So we just want to say that. Yo, we out. Peace. Peace.